Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a story map without having to use Google Maps or Google Earth. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. The tool that we're going to use is called StoryMap.js. You'll find it at storymap.nightlab.com. And you can take a little preview here and see what it looks like. You can make lots of place marks across a map and you'll play it back as a series of slides just like this one so let's take a look at how you can make it just click make a story map and create a new map and i'm going to call this one places to see in maine now you can make it a worldwide story map if you like but for this one I'm going to keep it just to my neighborhood here in Maine. So let's go ahead and now create it. And I want to start by selecting some media. And I'm going to upload an image that I have here. And I'm going to just choose a file and select a file from my computer. And I'm going to now upload that image. This image is going to be my cover image for my entire story. I'm going to give it a title of Places to See in Maine. And I might write something like, These are interesting places to see when you come for a visit. These places are great in the winter and the summer as well as spring and fall now if i want to change my marker option i can do so and if i want to change my background color from the default kind of gray scale i might change it out and make it kind of a greenish color like that one hit close and now we can preview it so far, this is what my map looks like. Not very exciting. So let's go back into edit and let's add our first actual slide. And to do this, let's search for a place. And I'm going to search for, I'm going to start by going to Main Street, Rangeley, Maine. Now, I know from having been to Rangeley many times myself that this is not where I want my place mark to be. I want it to be a little bit further down the road so it matches up to my image. So I'm just going to click and move it down the road a little bit. I want it to be there. And now I'm going to put in my headline. I'm going to call it Main Street, Rangeley, Maine. When you are here, you are halfway between the equator and North Pole. And I'm going to upload an image now that goes along with that place mark. And there it is. I'm going to save that file as Main Street Rangeley. And upload it. Now I can put in a credit and a caption if I want to. The credit is me. And I can put in a caption and say, This is a sign that stands where a restaurant used to be. And again, we can change out the background color around that if we want. I'm going to leave it at the default. And you can change the marker options. If you want to upload a custom image to use for your marker, you can do so. Well, I'm going to close that one out, leave it as is, and save it as our work in progress, and preview it, and see what it looks like. And we can now see there's our marker, and there's our picture, and our little caption as well. 
let's add another slide. So go back into edit. Let's add another slide and we'll just repeat the process. I'm going to upload another image and I want to pull that out of a different folder that I have on my desktop. And let's find that one. My main story map folder, there it is. And I'm going to upload this picture right here. And once uploaded, let's give it a title. The Hannibal Hamlin House. I can put a little description. Now, you may have noticed you can also embed media into this place marker or this marker. So if you want to, you can get the embed code for a YouTube video and place it in there. Or you can alternatively simply hyperlink into an item that you want to see appear in that place mark. But for now, I'm happy with that, but I need to have a location for it before I publish it. So I want to go to Hannibal Hamlin Drive. And I want to place that on the map. Now I can zoom in a little bit more if I want. Maybe I'll zoom in a little more detail. Make sure I have it exactly where I want it. And it turns out that it did a pretty darn good job placing it exactly where I wanted it at that time. Let's save it. And once again, we can preview it. And we can see how that place mark appears. Now, if I want to share this project, Simply click the share button in the upper right hand corner and you can give that link to anybody who you want to have view your story map. Now you can add up to 20 items to your story map. In fact, you could add even more than that, but, but story map recommends trying to limit it to 20. So they can actually take more, but they recommend limiting it to 20 for the ease of playback. You can see there you can get an embed code if you want to embed it into another website or page. You can do so with that provided code. And make sure we save it one more time and take a look at our other options. Once we go back to My Maps, you can always go back in and look at any of your projects that you want to go back in and edit. So that's how you can create a story map without having to use Google Maps or Google Earth. As always, for more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.